Hello YouTubers, sign 543 in the Pios up in the Hizzle Mo Hizzle. Sign 543 up in the Mo Hizzle. Anyway, today did not start off well at all and I probably should have rethought that wine tasting brunch I was invited to. My therapist did say it was good to go to things like that. What she actually said was please stay the hell away from alcohol. But I knew what she meant. She was just using some of that reverse psychology they use down there. She's good. So I show up wearing my best clothes. Others may have laughed, but I know class when I see it. And a gingham hand knitted tube top is classy no matter what that lady with the poodle said. She didn't actually say anything in my face, but I did see her whispering to her husband so I know that she was talking about me. Which is why giving her an atomic wedgie was completely justified. Looking back, I can see that jumping on her husband's back and yelling, Hi ho, silver away, was probably going a bit too far, but I bet the next time they will think twice before insulting me. Mm -hmm. So we get into the wine tasting part and this is when things really started to go south. I had already guzzled like three glasses of wine before anybody had even gotten to the sniffing part. The sniffing part makes like no sense to me at all. One lady said something really stupid. She turned to her stuffy husband who had all the look of somebody already dead and embalmed and she said, This is a presumptuously firm wine with a wonderful birch aroma intermingled with just a hint of blackberry. I laughed so hard wine shot out of my nose and before I could stop myself I yelled, My wine's a bladder and shit stick with two left feet who wouldn't know taste if it fell out of the sky and hit him in the head with a clue by four. They didn't think it was funny, but I sure had a good laugh. The snort laugh kind, that's how you know when it's really funny. It's true. It's just sickening how they all think they're so classy and so hoity-toity. Blech. Like the idiot who came up to me later and said that drinking wine through a straw was probably not exactly appropriate. Oh, not exactly appropriate, Mr. Fancy Pants? You mean like that hideous toupee you're wearing? <coughs> Is that appropriate enough? He swore it wasn't a toupee, but it was glued on tight. I yanked and yanked and yanked, it wouldn't come off, but I know it was. His silly wife came to his rescue, but I just threw wine in her face. Okay, it was the glass, but I had already drank all the wine. She was sorry for crossing me, I can tell you that. That turned out to be a bad idea. How was I supposed to know she was blind? In all fairness, the black glasses and the big cane should have been a clue. But I thought it was just a style, you know? Which is why I said, I will bang the hell out of you with that cane, Grandma, if you step one foot closer to me. And you have to admit, with a warning like that, anybody else would have just backed off right then. No, nope, not her. She just kept right on coming. So, I brained her with the glass. What would you have done, Mr. Know-It-All? <laughs> Later, after I found out that she was also deaf, I felt just awful, 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 awful. In all fairness, I felt awful because of the hangover, but I did feel bad about what I did. And everyone I tell this story to understands perfectly. Okay, I only told one guy, and he was the guy who was next to me in the jail cell. He completely said I was justified to do what I did. The judge didn't agree with me, though. He just made me pay a big fine. Great. Now my son will have to go back to work again to help support me. And he just started the third grade. There's no justice in the world. I hate being poor. I am so poor, I can't even pay attention. I used to pay attention. In fact, I was on a payment plan. Paid every month, like clockwork. I paid attention right after my cable bill. It worked like this. First, I'd pay my electricity. Then I'd pay my pimp. Then I'd pay my cable bill. And if there was any money left over after that, I paid attention. Somehow, I started getting behind. I think they've sent me to collections, the badgering bastards. I hate being broke. I shouldn't say broke. I do have enough money to eat and to pay for the weekly detailing of my 2007 Escalade. But beyond that, broke. I used to manage pretty well, even though I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. Eventually Peter found out and kicked Paul's ass. I'm thinking of going to marry. 